I know you guys are probably going to ask, Now it's Rossi Gandhi, why are you so late talking about this? Well, I just thought, you know, after a while of going into this and looking up some things and thinking about some things for about a week, I thought I might as well make a video talking about the one thing that people think I am totally biased about. So, let me just settle things and make things straight to you right now. It seems impossible Many of you may think that I'm a person that hates the Xbox 360. That is not the case, okay? So this video is pretty much going to be supporting the 360 and showing why I love this beauty of a system. Or, you know, showing the parts that I do love about it. I'm not going to hate on it, you know, because people think I'm a hater on the 360. Like, oh, I think it's a horrible system. It's not a horrible system. Trust me. Alright, so first off, I gotta talk about the new 360 Slim. Well, it's just 360, but it's smaller, sleeker, lighter. It has a built in 250 heart, uh, gigabyte hard drive as well as built in Wi Fi. At first, I was like, you know, it's just like copying the same exact things that the PS3 had. But when I think about it, like, when I, like, with the 360 I have right now, I'm thinking about it and thinking like, okay, this is actually better than I thought before. Because at this moment, I have a 360 okay, that I spent $200 on. I don't have any LAN connector, you know, because I don't do the whole wired thing. I do wireless. So I don't have a connector. That would run me about, what, 70 bucks, As well as a hard drive. You know, that, that would run me up about the same price, maybe even more than 70 bucks. So already right there, that's like 340 bucks. I spent for my, you know, regular old 360 that has a possibility of getting the Red Ring of Death, as well as you know, like the 360 I have, it has a built-in memory a little bit, but it's only like a couple of megabytes, a couple hundred megabytes, and that's. It's, it's okay for like a couple games, but like beyond that, it's, it's it's nothing. It's just it's crap. You know, it's it's, it's not made for online things. You know, I, I that's why I really think that maybe just maybe I would buy the new 360 if I could find a way to get rid of the one I have right now because the 360 that uh, is coming out looks pretty much just fantastic. Uh, the sleek, you know, the, the uh, hard top. The shell is so shiny, it's actually, um, it makes me want to buy even more just to, just to see it's shiny. And um, not only that, it's a whole lot better in my opinion. I mean, even though they didn't change anything on the inside, it's like, the 360 is already a good system, you know, it's a great system to play many FPS, shooter games actually, just, just shooter games, because the 360 is really, really good with shooters, you know. Years of War, Halo, and many people even play Call of Duty on there. Trust me, there's a lot more people playing Call of Duty on 360 than on PS3 or Wii. Trust me, I don't even know who plays Call of Duty on the Wii. So now I guess I should talk about Connect, since people are saying that I hate Connect. Not hate Connect. I just think. That in my opinion, it's, it's a little bit too early to start talking about Kinect. Uh, all we have to go off of is like little gameplay stuff, the uh, trailers, online commercials, on TV, stuff like that, and you know, the gameplay from E3. Alright, so, so far, I think that the Kinect could be really awesome, but uh, it, it might take a little bit of time for it to really focus on like hardcore gamers. Uh, but like more than casual gamers. I'm, I'm sorry, but I, I just have to say this. Uh, the Connect 
is really good, I think so, because of its... It's actually something never before done. Alright, let, let me just get this off my chest right now. Um, Sega came up with something that was like... I, I forgot what it was called. But it was kind of motion control in a way. And after that, I think, was the iToy by PlayStation. Um, then after... Well, there's like some stuff in the middle, but... Really, the iToy, the Wii, um, and the new PlayStation Move that actually has the new iToy. Um, the iToy is kind of something like the, that connects, but it's... It, I don't think... You know, in this sort of way... PlayStation Move and the iToy cannot match up, not one bit. Connect scans your entire body, every single inch of your body, even your clothing. You can take off your clothing, I'm not saying. You have to take off your clothing. Keep your shirt on and your pants and your underwear. Nobody wants to see that shit. But, you know, like, when you, when you are scanned by Connect, it has its own camera, it scans you. It, it's, it, it, it makes you feel like, oh, I, I, every single movement that I do, the game is interacting with that. It's making it seem like I am actually this person or this thing. I, I am the game. I'm not playing the game. I am the game, really. When you have no controller, you are the controller. You, all you have is the game in front of you, and you're telling the game what you want to do. I mean, what, what I'd like to see in a future from Connect is a lot more things that feel focused on uh, hardcore gamers rather than casual gamers. However, there are games that have been confirmed to be on the Connect that ha actually are for some hardcore gamers. So, for you guys out there, you are going to be a great one. So, what do I think about Connect and the new 360? I think they're quite frankly wonderful. The only problem I have to say right now is um, if the new 360 still gets the red ring of death, wow, Microsoft, like, how long has it been since the 360 came out, like the first one, and we, we've had this problem? I mean, if they can fix that problem, that would be total crap. I mean, you can't release a new system without fixing a problem, man. It's, it's not really. It's not cool, man. But if we see some red rings of death with this new 360, a lot of people will be pissed off. But uh, hopefully, the, the error region in, in these 360s is a, is a whole lot lower than the uh, previous 360i models. So um, I think that the new 360 is wonderful. I would actually love to get one myself. Um, and as for Connect, it's very innovative. I know what you guys are saying, like, well, what about the Wii and PlayStation Move? Well, they pale in comparison to the Kinect. Kinect is the next thing. I mean, it's like virtual reality, sort of, kinda, in a way where it's just like, you punch and then they punch, and it's wonderful like that. I don't know if I can explain it exactly the way I'm thinking it. But you guys, you guys, you guys hit the point, right? And that's pretty much all I gotta say. So for all you out there that think that I hate 360 and everything on the Microsoft systems, you're wrong. I don't hate it. I just think differently sometimes about stuff that I shouldn't be thinking about right now. So that's all I gotta say. Uh, so let me go.